Hello everyone, we are back with a video which relates to clearing your immigrations at the port of entry. This is that time of the year where students traveling to the United States have got their visas approved, they are planning their pre-departure and the most important and the crucial thing during this time is how careful or what you need to keep in mind when you are going to meet the immigrations officer or the CBP officer at the port of entry to clear your immigrations. Today in this video I'm going to talk to you about most commonly asked questions by the immigrations officer at the port of entry which will ease in your process of immigrations. So let's quickly look at these questions. There is no need to worry, there is no need to panic. It's a simple process where a few questions are asked to students who are entering the United States and they need to clear the immigrations and get the stamp done. So the most important questions or the most commonly asked questions during the port of entry would be the first one, what is the purpose of your visit to the United States? So you can simply confidently say to pursue my masters in computer science from the State University of New York at Stony Brook. So that can be one of the questions and very confidently you can answer. Okay, they also ask questions related to funding at times that who is funding your trip or who is funding your education. So whatever mode of combinations of funds you have told, you can mention the same thing. So you can say I'm supported through an educational loan and partially my parents also would be funding my education. They also ask questions on where would you be staying in the United States? So if you have a confirmed accommodation, please confidently tell the immigrations officer that this is where you will be staying. It need not be the university dorm. It can be an off-campus accommodation. But if you have a lease signed, you have confirmed accommodation, you know it, it's very, very important. They also ask you at times the DSO's name and the phone number. So please make sure you have this handy. So what is DSO? Designated school official. This name you will find on your I-20. Phone number can be found on the university website. So please make sure you save the number on your phone. You may not know it by rote, but it's always handy to keep it on your phone so that if the immigration officer or the CBP officer asks for it, you have it handy. They also ask you the university address at times. So make sure you know the university address by rote and you don't fumble when you have to give the university address. They also ask uh, secondary questions related to, to your travel as to maybe which country you're traveling, where was your transit. They can also ask questions on how much cash are you carrying. So you should have all of this and make sure when you're filling in the CBP form, you given the correct details and you do not fumble and panic. It's just going to be a mini visa interview. If you've gone through the visa interview at uh, in your home country, it's going to be a mini version of that. So these are the most commonly asked questions during your port of entry to clear your immigrations. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to know more such updated videos for information on study abroad. Thank you so much and keep watching.